For this bike building job, you need screwdrivers, spanner, multi Allen key, pump, this is a track pump, and grease if you have any grease about. If not, don't worry so much. So once you undo the handlebar and all the packaging, okay, you're going to turn the fork around, so we'll make sure the brake pads are facing us. Okay. Part. Before we put the handlebar, we are going to remove the cap at the top and put that safe place. So at the top, we're going to undo by holding the bottom so you don't lose it. So we put all these back in this place. So undo the top. It's quite simple. It comes out unscrew it okay keep it together the cap put it aside and we've got the handlebar which we it goes in this way so we've got the cables okay this left is for back brake sorry yeah left left one is for back brake and this is for your gears and that's for your front so everything's at the front and face in front, form writing at the front. So we'll put the cap back to the top. And we tighten. Screw. Okay, don't tighten it too much. We can tighten it later. So, before we put the front wheel, we are going to undo our brake, which is the brake near the low weight. So we're just creating a bigger gap. So we're going to get our uh, tire. So we've got our tire inside of our box. You should have a skewer, which is going to go through uh, the direction. Okay. On the tire, you will see an arrow that indicates a direction. Okay, it's going this way. So we're going to have this side. So you have two springs, two springs on, on either side. So we're going to undo one side. Take one off, keep one on. It goes in through here. Come out. That's broken. Let's have a look. It's a plastic cover. Which should come out. Yes. Okay. Then. Okay. You can see the spring. Go in this way. The screw back on. Once is on. So make sure our direction correct again goes through the gap okay sit so now holding one side this is our quick release screw so we're going to hold it tighten the other side still loose this don't tighten this side too much otherwise you can't close obviously look a quick release and close nice and tight okay now we're going to put our brake back together okay this could be a bit tight you can get a bit of force goes the noodle goes back in it needs to slot into the socket there you go Okay, now we check our brake. Okay, yeah, it's perfect. Okay, that's working. So we are going to move to put our pedals. Okay, so your left hand side 
padding. So we're going to put some anti-seize grease on. If you have anti-seize grease, you can use it. If you don't, then don't bother. Well, this is just, just in case if you break the paddle or you need to replace the paddle so the, the, the brake pedal doesn't get seized. But the left hand side, this is very important, the left hand side thread to screw this on is anti clockwise. Okay, so you need to screw the left hand side pedal anti clockwise. Don't force it to clockwise, that's not good, guys. Okay, so you need to turn it anti clockwise once. You can't do it anymore. Get your spanner. Okay. You can tighten. That's fine. So the other side. Okay. It's, it's what we call it the right way round. Okay. A bit proper. Anti seize grease. Now this is normal clockwise. Right pedal goes in clockwise. It's very simple, okay? It shouldn't be forced. Once you can't turn it anymore, get your spanner, okay, and tighten. There you go. Simple as that. Now what we got, we have got our seat. So take the seat cover. And it should have um, grease in there. So undo the quick release, put the seat in, and you can push it back and close it. And if it's too loose, which in this case, there you can tighten the quick release. Okay. There you go. So that's done. So you can see a nice seat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check our back brake. If it's catching. In this instance I can show you guys. Okay, this brake pad, it's slightly closer to the rim and it's touching. And if you look at the other side, okay, there's more gap. So we can adjust that. Simple. If this is too well, if, if there is enough enough gap on this side if you unscrew the screw on the right hand side what we'll do it will push this brake pad inwards and if you screw this in this brake pad okay will go inwards not outwards sorry there you go okay if you screw it in it will get out. Now if you come back to the brake side, nice and away, and there's nothing catching. So if you screw the screw on either side outwards, it will push the brake pads in. If you screw the screw in, it will push the brake pads out. I know it is confusing, I still get confused. Okay, now what we've got, we've got our reflectors. So, we need to put our reflector on. So, red goes on the seat post. Undo. Screw. Okay, this part goes around first. Okay. And then wraps around. Screw back. The nut back in. And we're going to screw it tight. Make sure it's correct, facing this way. Tighten it. There you go. And the front. So for the front, we have got a clear, a white reflector that goes to the front. Now this bike comes with eight gears, so we'll just quickly talk about the gears as well. Underneath. 
Too tight for this plastic, so it might snap off. But it's, it's nice and secure. Uh, there we go. So now the brakes are working. Okay, we're going to talk about the, the gears. Okay, let's pull this a bit away. Right. Right, so So this this bike has got eight gears, okay, and the gear changer on this one. Let's move all the way to the bottom. It should work with one click, one gear. Okay, as you can see on here, I've clicked and it doesn't move. So we've got this adjuster screw and we need to screw this until it moves into its correct gear. There you go. Next one. Okay, let's start again. From the bottom, one click, one gear, one click. Every click, it should it should move. There you go. This is our 20-inch form Kinder MX in blue. Um, we can, or you can buy this in blue, pink, or red. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to also pump the tires. So you can pump the tires, and we have. Uh, the maximum minimum and maximum pressure so in this case it says 40 minimum and maximum 65 psi this is with your track pump okay so we recommend 40 to 40, 45 okay and, and the back tire is exactly the same once you assemble the bike together you are going to finish it with straightening the handlebar Don't forget to tighten the handlebar. So, and then we are going to find our cap. Put the strap back on. Okay. A 20 inch form Kinder. Available to buy from Mini Bike Recyclers. If you have any questions, okay, drop us, drop us an email at Mini Bike Recyclers. 